Crash and burn. Hey everyone. So tonight I want to discuss, it's pretty much my least favorite Nine Inch Nails records and that record would be Hesitation Marks. Now, from a production standpoint, I don't think that Reznor has produced anything that sounds this impeccable. Everything here is uh, spaced out so incredibly well. Like for music, especially with the Nine Inch Nails, that gets so dense and so dark and so sort of all-encompassing, Reznor's production has always been uh, way above most other music producers, regardless of the type of music they're making. In general, Reznor, like I said, he's always been like a head and shoulders above the rest. But it does seem that he has stepped up his production considerably on this record. This was in, if I'm not mistaken too, this was the first record, I believe, in just about five years. And whereas I really like the sound of this album from a production standpoint, I just don't love the music. I never have. I mean, for a while there, initially after I bought the record, I tried to lie to myself saying that I loved this album. But my girlfriend at the time, she said that the record, it just sounded wrong. She said it sounded too dancey, and she said it just was kind of hollow sounding. And of course, she wasn't talking about a hollow sounding from the production end of things, because again, this production is just about the best thing the Nine Inch Nails have ever put out. But at first I tried to ignore what she was saying because there are a handful of strong songs on here like uh, Copy of Awe and Came Back Haunted and I also really like I Would For You but before long I couldn't really deny the things that she was saying for much longer because it was very apparent that the music just wasn't what I was looking for and this would actually sort of kick off a period uh, of uh, music from the Nine Inch Nails forward that I just haven't agreed with. Everything from this point forward I haven't liked. I, I didn't like Ad Violence, not the actual events, and what's the other one? Bad Witch, I think it's called. I wasn't particularly wild about those. I didn't love this record, although I really did like the artwork. I like how the artwork threw this back to the Downward Spiral days and I liked the way that the physical release for the, the CD release at least felt. It was uh, had that sort of smooth sort of velvet feel to the jewel case and I liked the design of course and I, I've always liked the aesthetic design wise of the Nine Inch Nails. They've seemed to have a very strong vision as far as how they're going to have their records laid out visually but I just don't like this album. I never have. And I lied to myself for a while, like I said earlier, but that was a while back. This record came out in 2013. It's now 2022. I just don't like this record, other than Copy of Awe uh, and Came Back Haunted. And my favorite track is definitely I Would For You. Other than that though, I find myself never putting this one on. I think I'll leave it there. <laughs> So thank you so much for hanging out with me for a few minutes while I discuss the Nine Inch Nails 2013 release, Hesitation Marks. If you liked this review, like always, don't forget to do something nice for somebody, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good night. I just wanted to say thank you for making it through the entire video. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to remind everyone one more time, even though I've probably already done this in the video that you just watched, to please click the like button as well as the subscribe button because it helps this channel grow. And thank you for hitting like and subscribe. And we will see you guys really soon.